Stay tuned for our humble hero guest, Sharon Kodama. Hi gang, welcome to Flat Top John and our humble hero segment of this YouTube channel. Okay, so in this video, I got her to say yes, okay? And this is such a big deal, okay? This interview uh, is of Sharon Kodama. Uh, those of you in the Mililani community probably know her really well, especially if your, your students, your children were athletes in Mililani High School. And she's an awesome person. I mean, super awesome. And uh, I, will, I, I was nervous. I, I, I didn't think I'd get her to say yes because she's so humble. And uh, she's no, uh, she has recently moved uh, uh, to the Big Island where she is now helping out with, with their, their program. But for many years, uh, she was with the Milani High School Athletics Program as an athletic trainer and had helped so many student athletes in their time of need when they got injured and as far as an athletic trainer you know they, they not only stay in the uh, the gym or in the back room they go to all the as the, the numerous events the different various sports events whether it be football baseball basketball soccer volleyball judo wrestling and where kids get injured and you see them laid on the field and the people that run onto the field are people like Sharon and it's their immediate assessment or their immediate reaction to what injury has occurred that is vital. That initial interaction of whether they, they move the child or the student, they don't move them, they immobilize them and how they treat the injury is, is very crucial and, and Sharon was excellent at that. Uh, she is also an ENT meaning she, she works in the ambulance and, and uh, responds to actual uh, injuries and you know motor vehicle accidents and whatnot. So she has a lot of experience. And, and with that, along with her, her selfless personality, you know, she is uh, resilient, strong, firm, also, also soft-spoken. She has that little soft-spoken voice, but she also is firm with the students, meaning you have that type of student that, you know, is a type A personality and want to, just wants to get back in the game, get back into competition. And sometimes she has to put her foot down and says, no, you can't. <laughs> Anyhow, I really, wanted, I really wanted her featured on this channel. And, and leading up to that, I was really nervous. And I just happened, had caught her uh, on one of her visits back home, back here um, to Honolulu, Milani. So I caught her just, just lined up. And... Even approaching this subject of me having to feature her, I was really nervous about her not cooperating. <laughs> so she said yes, but I would like everyone to, uh, if you could view this video and uh, allow me to recognize and thank and show our appreciation and gratitude. I, I know there are hundreds if not thousands of students and parents of student athletes that are appreciative of Sharon and what she's done. And she never seeks or had sought attention, credit, reward. She just did it. And, and you'll see in her interview, she makes mention of uh, volunteering with uh, special needs children and the Special Olympics. She's a great person and she embodies everything that I um, Consider the traits of a humble hero. So sit back and watch the video. Thank you for viewing. With no further ado, here's the interview that I had gotten, and which I'm so grateful for, with uh, former Mililani athletic trainer, Sharon Kodama. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, we're approaching the school. She's agreed to meet me at uh, Mililani High School and uh, the parking lot. So. I hope she's there. I hope she agrees. Hope she doesn't get mad at me. Okay, let's see how it goes. Here at the parking lot of uh, Milani High School gym parking lot, next to the tennis courts. 
They're waiting for the arrival of Sharon Kodama, who was the athletic trainer for years. I hope she shows and I hope she agrees to this interview. Wish me luck. Hey, Flat Top John here, and I'm here at Milani High School uh, with Sharon Kodama, who I uh, want to feature under our, our Humble Hero uh, segment. Can you introduce yourself and give us some background to you? Hi, I'm Sharon Kodama. Uh, I'm currently w uh, working as an athletic trainer at YK High School. Um, was working here at Mililani for 12 years, um, at YNI for 11, and at Wailua for 1. Uh, I'm, I'm also at EMT, working for AMR, both at, in, on Oahu and Hilo. So the reason why we came here, Sharon, and uh, just to let the viewers know, was this planned at all? No. Okay. Just to give you background, I had to call her up. I didn't tell her why I'm meeting her. She had no idea. And I was bracing that she said yes. And she said yes, guys. And I wanted to feature her as our humble hero. And the reason why is she has assisted so many children in their time of need when they're injured and hurt. And uh, like you, like she had said, she's she has background as a um, MICT, EMT, uh, EMT. So for the ambulance service. And she's been a trainer for uh, the high school for when uh, when athletes get injured. And the reason why we're here, Sharon, is in our observation, not just mine alone personally, and all the hundreds of kids that observe you, she's a soft-spoken soft person. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we, we see the other side too. But anyway, for the most part, she's very, look at she's looking at genuine smile. Soft-spoken, never wants attention, never asks for attention, always are willing to help you know comes early stays late with the kids and and sees them through to the healing through the healing process uh let me ask you this sharon um in your years of doing this uh, as an athletic trainer with the high school what was the most challenging or hardest memory that you have or experience that you've had um one of the hardest was uh, seeing a really bad concussion and it took months and months for this athlete to return to play um it took about six months for this one athlete to return, and it took a very long process. Um, it was from the di initial diagnosis and to the full return, and it was like it wasn't where it was where she had to learn how to walk, but it was where we actually had to teach her how to catch and balance again. And it wasn't a sport where you had to have pretty good balance. So from going from zero balance to full back to full recovery was um, pretty hard. And she's doing okay now. Yeah. So much better, much better. And much thanks to her. And no, you, it was a team, team effort. You see, that's the epitome. That's what I look for. You see the answer? No, it's to her. No, it's the team effort. This is what I'm looking for, guys, gang. Okay, the humility, the, the, why she's a humble hero. So that was the hard part. What, um, what memory, what experience was the most positive, the thing that left you the most gratifying from, those, from that field as being a trainer? Um, it's kind of like almost the same. Anytime I see somebody who's hurt and I can get them back into play um, is probably the most gratifying. I enjoy working with special needs kids, so I volunteer with um, Special Olympics, and that's what I feel rewarding with because it's not where they have to play, they just want to play, and the fact that they can just go out and run around, that's my reward. So them seeing them just being able to run, I feel extremely happy to just see them run around. So that I'm, that's what my rewards are just seeing kids running around just for fun. Again, you gotta get any um, genuine that. Um, I just wanna tell you, Sharon, while we have you here, and uh, for one, thank you so much for saying yes. Yeah. Um, and I wanna tell you uh, from myself and my children, on behalf of the, the hundreds of other kids that you've helped, thank you very much for everything you've done. You're truly a humble hero, and I appreciate it. Can you help? Um, again, this is Flat Top John. I, I call myself Flat Top John, by the way. It fits. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is our humble hero, Sharon Kodama. Um, MICT. No, ENT. E ENT, sorry, my bad. ENT, personal trainer. Athletic trainer. Athletic trainer. My bad. You get me all, I'm all a kind right now. <laughs> and she's our humble hero. Um, thank you for uh, viewing. If you like what you see, if you like Sharon and what she stands for and everything she's done, please click the like. 
and also if you like what we see you like what we're doing in general subscribe to my channel and you you see more people like sharon thank you for tuning in take care